open up, up open up, shutting down like a back top. Open up, open up, up here, up here. Cold as ice and cold love. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Glamour by MJ and guys, actually this is my second time doing the intro. The first one, it was out of focus and I'm glad I checked it because I literally have four minutes before I leave out the door. That is crazy and I am late to work. But anyways, anything for my Glam Squad. Um, I'm going to keep this outro, this intro um, pretty short. I did a soft glam eyeshadow look. This was requested from some of my Instagram followers and my Facebook friends. And I did this look a couple times on my clients and you guys and you guys seem to really take to it. So you guys requested that I do it on a YouTube look so you guys can look at it and learn it. So I said why not film it for you guys. This look was really fun, soft and quick. So if you guys want to know how I got this look then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so first of all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you are old, welcome back. I am doing a one of my signature looks. This look was requested from some of my Instagram followers and some of my Facebook friends. This is a soft nude look, a everyday soft look that you guys can do. And it is very beginner friendly. And um, I did my skin off camera as you guys can see. If you guys want to know how I do my skin, you guys can click the link in my description bar below. That will take you guys step by step on how I do my skin. We are just doing this eye today on camera and the lip and yeah, just the eye and the lip. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my eye. So first guys, I took my CoverGirl Undercover um, Concealer. This one is in the shade... Hold on guys. So I took my CoverGirl under I took my CoverGirl True Man Undercover Concealer in the shade T700 Caramel. And I use this as a eyeshadow base or as you want to call it a primer. Then I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M173 brush to buff and blend it out. Definitely, if you guys want to see how I completed the skin, click the link in my description bar below. On my last video that I did, I did my updated foundation, highlight, and contour routine. Very thorough. That is how your base should look. Some people like to use lighter bases, like literally white ones. Um, that's just not my preference. We know we do what works for us. This is what works for me. All right, guys. So first, I started off with this Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette. This shade right here is called High Dude, and it's a deep dark brown shade. And I'm going to be taking that shade with my Elf Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. It's like a flat, um, a flat brush. One of these ones. I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to tap off the excess and I'm going to start to tap it on into my crease. I'm going to start on my outer V and work my way up into my crease, but I'm not going to go typically, I'm not going to go directly in my crease. I'm going to go a little bit above it and kind of create this arch. You guys see the motion that I'm going in? And you guys wanna make sure you use tapping motion so we can get that pigment on there first. You wanna use tapping motions to get your pigment on there first and then you can use blending motions later if you choose to, to blend it out. It just all depends on your preference. So you guys see the motion that I'm going in? And you're gonna tap this eyeshadow on into your desired intensity. You can get some. Guys, this is so weird for me because I don't. Well, I've done a couple eyeshadow looks on camera, but it's been a minute. Now I'm gonna start tapping on the outer line to less harshen it, make it less harsh. 
out of mine on it. Just have to make a point. But I'm softening enough to out of mine as well. Because I'm doing this. I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit more. So guys, now I'm gonna be going into the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna be taking this um, brown shade in here. This is like a neutral, like warm tone shade. And I'm gonna be taking that on a Crown Pro C512 brush. I love this brush. I normally actually start out with this one. No, I'm sorry, my other Crown brush that I did not use today. The Crown C511 brush. I was actually looking for this brush earlier. Couldn't find it. So now I'm going to start tap tapping on my lighter transition shade on top of the darker one. And I actually picked up this technique from my best friend, B. Marie. Um, I just wanted to try something different. I'm always looking for different ways to blend. I picked up some ways from Taylor Made Jane. Um, and she was the one who taught me the inverse method and the tapping motions. That's where I learned tapping motions from. But I, um, this is my second time trying this uh, method. Where I'm just tapping on the lighter shade right on top of the darker shade. I don't normally do it like this, but I like how it came out when I did it on one of my clients. I still have to get these um, soft looks down packed on myself. I feel like I have them pretty good on my clients, but not on myself per se. And I hate the dentist, not to mention. I'm gonna make sure I take this lighter shade in the front as well. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go back into the brown shade, but I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this brush. I had used the crayon case brush on the other eye, but I normally go in with my um, C512 brush, I mean C511 brush, but I'm just going to keep it the same. I'm not going to use two different brushes on two different eyes. I'm just going to stick with the brush that I used on this eye. But I normally will go for my C511. But I'm going to go in with this um, crayon case brush. And I'm going to go back into that dark brown. And blend it up into that Juvia's Place transition shade. And this is a fluffy brush. But it's kind of dense as well. I'm going to be going back and forth between the two colors until I get my desired blend. So now I'm going back into the Juvie's Place transition. Okay guys, I like that. Now to soften up the outer edges even more, I'm going to go into the Jeffree Star Times Morphe palette again and I'm going to go into this shade called Channel, this shade right here. I know it don't say Chanel, but it definitely say Channel. <coughs> I'm just going to top that on the outer and like I kind of add to my brow bone as well. But I'm really using it to soften up the outer edge. But also using it as a brow bone highlight as well. It's going to make it look really nice and soft. And really blend it.
guys so now i am going to be going with my lid color and i am going to go back in with my covergirl concealer and caramel case brush this brush set came in a seven piece if you guys are interested in it I'm sure it's really still on her site I will link it down in my description right below I will list all of my products down in my description right below including the skin even though it wasn't on camera because I did use a different foundation and a different primer for my last routine but same steps. Now I'm going to be going back into the Jeffree Star palette and I'm going to be taking this shallot called Lynn. This is Jeffree Star's middle name. Lynn. I've honestly throughout the past, I remember last year in February, I created some bomb ass looks with these brushes. These crayon case brushes. So really guys, get your hands on them. And this palette is really pigmented, that's why I kind of tap off the excess. Plus, I'm trying to avoid dropping as much fallout on my face as I can. So I'm tapping this into that brown transition shade as well. Just so it can blend cohesively. I have my next look in my mind already gonna be another soft look but I'm also gonna do cut creases on my channel guys so do not worry cut creases halos I got them for y'all I promise you I got them coming I got them coming so now guys I'm gonna be taking my Morphe Nature and 502 palette I'm sorry my Morphe my, uh, my Morphe 3502 Nature palette and I took this shade right up here to blend out that um, white and dark brown transition shade you guys will see where I tap this at to see what I'm talking about but I took this shade right here and I'm just gonna tap it right in front of the dark brown and into that white nude shade just so it can make a better transition between the brown and the white in with that white nude shade Okay guys, so now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner and I'm just going to go across my eyelid as you guys see I did on the other one. Guys, now I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Unreasy Highlighter to go in my tear duct.
Okay guys, so I'm going to put on my lashes and I will be right back to put on my lip color. Okay guys, so the lashes that I have on is from a line called 3D Mink Lash and it's called Ms. Lash and I have on the number six. This is something more natural than I normally wear, but I really like the 3D. It's a really good beauty supply store 3D lash. It actually reminds me of um, a lash that I had from a company I got in PR off Instagram. Um, from I think the company's called Eyelash. These are some really good lashes. So go check these out, guys, at your local beauty supply store um, called Miss Lash. Really like these. Picked up a couple pair. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and smudge out my under eye. Basically, I'm going to use the same colors that I used on the top of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off by putting that dark brown on first with a smudger brush. And I just took that all the way to my tear duct, basically. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to move on to the next shade, which is from the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm going to tap this right on under that dark brown. Now I'm just going to be taking some mascara. This is the L'Oreal um, mascara. It don't, it just say L'Oreal. And I kind of forgot which one it was, so sorry guys. But it looks like this. It's actually a really good mascara. When it comes to mascaras, I really don't, um, I really don't, invest. When it comes to mascaras, I really don't invest because just the mascara, I wear falsies. So I really don't care. Okay guys, so now it's time for our lip combo. And you guys know I said in my last video that I was not going to ever trade on my Nika K lip liner. But I have not um, been back to the beauty supply store to find another one. Well, actually I did go to the beauty supply store today. And I went another time last week. But anyways, couldn't find the Nika K pencil. So I'm just going to have to wait till I go to a specific beauty supply store where I know that they'll have it. Um, sometime next week I'll be going to re -up. Uh, but until then, I have this NYX Professional Pencil, and this is just in the shade Dark Brown, and it's kind of similar to the Nika K one, a little richer in color, but I really like the Nika K color, but this will do. I had to re-up on a couple of products, um, but today I'm going to be using this lipstick in Cream de Nude. This is actually my first time having Cream de Nude. I've always wanted it. i just never been back to get it, but I'm going to be using Cream de Nude. Ah. To go over it with the Fenty Beauty lip gloss and glass slipper. It's just a clear lip gloss. The shade is glass slipper. I'm so glad that she came out with a very a, like a true clear lip gloss because she had the the diamond one, but it has like diamond reflex in it. But it was still kind of like clear. But I'm glad she came out with like a crystal clear one.
Okay guys, this is the completed look. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, run through my hair really quick with a flat iron, and I will be right back with the outro. Open up, open up, up here, up here. Cold as ice and cold, love. Open up. 